Hi, I'm Phil, and I'm gonna show you how easy it is to stay connected with your smart device or tablet even when you're outside of cellular coverage. I use iSat Hub, the 3G broadband smart connectivity service from Immarsat. Immarsat's global service allows me to use my phone or my tablet anywhere in the world for calls, for SMS, but also to jump on the internet. That means if I'm doing some, some work emails or some spreadsheets, I still have that connectivity no matter where I am with absolutely no roaming fees. I can also use the service when I'm on holiday with my family. So if I'm maybe camping, I can leave the ISAT hub outside of my tent and I can be using my tablet to search the web, to look for weather and to use anything I really need to see. And it's all accessed through this little beauty, the Wide Eye iSavvy from Add Value Technologies. It's really easy to set up and use too. All you need to do is before you leave home, make sure you download the control app and the voice app for your tablet or smartphone. I'm using an iPad, but the apps are also available on your iPhone, on your iPod Touch, or your Android device. I've already downloaded them, but what you'll need to do is go to your app store, search for iSat Hub, and you'll see two apps, the voice app and the control app. They're both free and you'll need them both. So the control application is how you configure your iSat Hub service, doing things such as changing passwords, amending your firewall settings and things like that. The voice app allows you to make those all important calls and send SMS messages. Now there are a few steps that we need to go through on setting up both of these applications, but I'll show you those as we progress. First thing I do is power the terminal on by pressing and holding the power button here and waiting for the lights to flash on the top. Once they're flashing, flip it open and place it on the ground. In Marsat satellites are geostationary, which means they don't move in the sky. The satellite we're going to be using today is roughly southeast, so I've placed the terminal in a southeasterly direction so that I can fine tune the point in later on and ensure we get the best possible signal. So the next thing I need to do is connect my smart device or tablet, in this case a tablet, to the Wi-Fi generated by the iSat hub. Now you do it in exactly the same way as you would if you were at home and you were using your home broadband. In this case, the password and the network ID are both on the back of the device. So I'm gonna do that now. Wait for that nice tick. So the terminal's powered on and my iPad is connected to the Wi-Fi network. Now you see these lights here? These are a guide to pointing the device. There is another way to do that though, and you do that via the control app. Let's do that now. Now because this is the first time that I've used the app, the first thing I'm asked is for an admin password. Now it's set it as a default to one, two, three, four. So I'll enter that and click on to log in. Now it'll take a few seconds, then it's gonna ask me a series of questions. Now, the first question is language. So I'm gonna choose English, but there are another seven options for you to choose from. It's ticked on English, so I'm gonna click next. Now it's gonna ask me to enter a nickname for my device. Because this is my iPad, I'm gonna choose iPad, but equally, I could put my iPhone, I could put Phil's iPhone, I could put Phil's Android device, it doesn't really matter, something that's personal to you. I then click on to next, and now it allows me to change my admin password, the one that was 1234 earlier. For now, I'm gonna leave it the same and click next. So next up are my firewall settings. Now I can leave it as all internet so that everything comes through to my iPad or I can choose email only. In this instance, I'm gonna leave it as all internet and I'm gonna choose next. So next up is a screen about sharing data. This wants to know whether you want any new devices that connect to your Wi-Fi network to have immediate access to the internet. I'm gonna leave it set as on, but you can change it to off if you wish. So this screen wants to know what level of access I want this device to have of my Wi-Fi network. I can choose just data, incoming calls, outgoing calls, or all three. I'm gonna choose all three and click onto next. So this final setup screen asks me whether I wanna change the password of my iSat Hub terminal. Now I'd recommend that you leave it as it is because the password's written on the bottom of the device and you're less likely to forget it, but it's up to you. I'm gonna leave it the same and I'm gonna click onto next again. So now we're done with that first time setup, but as we're a first time user on this device, the app is gonna give me some pointers on how to point the device. As we're gonna do that with the control app, we can skip that for now. Now we're into the main menu, we can see that there are three main indicators. This one tells us they were connected to the Wi-Fi network. This middle section is about the connection to the satellite network. As you can see, we've got two buttons. We've got connect to network and we've got pointing assist. 
as I said earlier, you don't have to use the LED lights on the terminal itself to point. The app will help you do it. So let's do that now. As you can see, the app is clever enough to use your device's GPS signal to establish exactly where you are. Now what it's going to do, it's going to tell you how to tilt and how to point the device very precisely. What you're looking for is a signal strength of 42 dB in the bar at the top. At that point, the bar will turn green and you're good to click connect. So now what's going to happen is the device is going to take a few seconds just while it finalises that connection with the satellite. Once it does, you're going to hit connect data and then you're good to go. You'll also notice here that it shows you how much data you've used in your session. So that allows you to keep a track of how much you're spending. You can see at the bottom that I've got a devices option. If I click onto that, it shows me how many devices are connected to my iSat hub at the moment. Now, if I had my phone and my tablet, I could also connect those at the same time and share that Wi-Fi connection. I could also have my friends or family add their phones or tablets too. Now that we're fully connected, I can start to use the iSat Hub voice app. Now this voice app allows me to make calls and send SMS messages, even from devices that don't have their own SIM card, like my iPad. At the top, I have a dial pad, which allows me to make a call as if I was using a phone at home or your normal iPhone or your Android phone. I can also delve into my contacts list and make a call from there as well. Nice and easy, I've also got an option in the top left hand corner which allows me to send an SMS message in a very similar way. I can put the number in manually or I can use my contacts list. Now because I'm still on the network, I can then go into Safari, I can go to a website, as I would normally. ISAT Hub is a global 3G broadband connectivity service via satellite and it allows me to use all of the apps on my smartphone or my tablet as I would if I was at home or in cellular coverage. It's not going to be as fast as my home 3G or Wi-Fi connection, but it is a reliable broadband service that I can use anywhere that I have line of sight to the satellite. So what I do is I leave my iSat Hub somewhere with line of sight, maybe on a windowsill, maybe on a post outside, and then I go back inside and do what I need to do on my laptop, on my tablet, or on my phone. It's really that easy. That's it. It's global broadband data, crystal clear voice, and SMS anywhere I travel. And it's all thanks to Inmarsat's global network and ISAT Hub.